Hey everybody, welcome back to TCS Start Frogs. My name's Travis, and if you haven't been here before, welcome to my channel. And to everyone who has been here before, sorry I haven't made a video in so long. I know it's been close to two years since I made a video, maybe over two years. So, just wanted to say thank you to all the people who've reached out and requested that I make new videos. I had a lot of people over social media and just in the comments of my older videos saying, hey, where's your videos? We miss your content. So I just wanted to say thank you, I really appreciate that. And the main reason I'm making this video is I wanted to reach out to you guys and ask, what do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see more uh, room tours here? Do you guys want to see tutorials? What do you guys want to see me making videos of? Let me know down in the comments. Or a better way would be to go to my Instagram and send me a message. Or if you guys want to email me or send me a text. That's also a great way to get a hold of me and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. Or if you guys have any questions about frogs or what I have available, uh, just send me a message on Instagram, send me a text message, let me know. And yeah, today I'm just going to go through my frog room and kind of show you guys a little bit of what's different and show you guys a couple of new things here. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so before we get into this video, I wanted to share this event that's coming up. This will be October 23rd from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. in Fountain Valley, California, and it's hosted by Verdant Vivariums. If you're not familiar with them, I would go check out their website. They have a ton of cool plants and other terrarium building supplies. Um, they also keep a few dart frogs, but I don't think they're currently breeding any dart frogs. But this event is going to be great. It's going to be geared specifically towards frogs and amphibians, as well as rare terrarium plants and rare house plants. So it could be a really great event, and if you can make it down there, come check it out. So the first thing that has changed in the frog room is that I went through and took all these 10 gallons and drilled them so that they all have drainage now as well as I believe some of them were not drilled for misting, but this makes it so much easier so that I can mist the tanks as often as I want and it all drains down into that bucket there. And this way I never have to worry about siphoning out any of these tanks again. And there's kind of a shot of some of the, just how the tanks look and the uh, misting nozzles inside also really excited that uh, I finally got some Terebolus again. Hadn't had Terebolus in a while, so raised these guys up from tadpoles. They're the orange blackfoots. Um, pretty common nowadays, but I'm still excited to be working with them. Uh, there is a whole lot of this stuff on this side of the room that I still need to uh, go through and drill, and I haven't set up misting for any of that section. This whole side of the room is pretty much the same as it was in the last video, and I still need to go through and build out tanks for that top shelf. And right now it's mainly just housing a bunch of tadpoles. These guys I picked up at a show a couple months ago. These are the Suriname horned frog. And I don't know what the sex of them is yet. They're still pretty small. But I was really excited to get some captive bred. I've had a couple in the past, but they just were never really that healthy and I ended up losing them. Uh, the other thing I'm really excited about this year, I ended up breeding fire bellies, uh, Bombina orientalis. So I've got a ton of fire belly toads. So if anyone's looking for those, I definitely put those on the website and uh, yeah, super cute. They're still really little. Here's another shot of some really tiny little guys. It's funny, almost all of them come out brown, which I didn't realize when I first raised them from tadpoles. And then over the next couple months, they'll turn green. And in my case, luckily I got a bunch that turned into the mint phase. So this tank is new, and this is a tank that I house my uh, Blue Histos in, or Blue Histrionica, and then this is a tank for the Brown Bullseye, the Brown Bullseye Histrionica. 
This is my new tadpole setup. I'm still going to move it around and tweak it a little bit, but each one of these tanks has a sponge filter that's kind of been modified. I've also got uh, lava rocks in there. That's probably a video I'll be doing in the future, but these filters work really well, at least for this application. I've never tried it in an aquarium with fish, but for tadpoles, it seems to be working very well. And I really like this communal system. So I was really lucky this year that I was able to breed these little bumblebee toads, Melanophroniscus clappenbachii. So hopefully I'll have some videos on that in the future, but just wanted to share that really quick. The last thing that I wanted to show you guys is these milk frogs, which we raised up from babies. We have six of them in here and they're super fun to feed. All right, thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd love it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to check out my website or my social media, I'll leave all the links down in the description. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments section. And like I said earlier, the best way to get a hold of me is to email, call, text, or send me a message over Instagram. And thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And like I said, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.